In this presentation, we'll be going over the eight qualities of a great leader. This should serve as some kind of inspiration as you assume a leadership role in your own right. At the same time, you'll also want to keep these in mind whenever you have the opportunity to put yourself in a leadership position if such an opportunity were to arise. So let's cut right to the chase and get started with the first quality on our list. Number one is integrity. I think this is important because integrity is key in being a successful leader and in turn having a successful business. You want to hold on to your beliefs and never waver on them. At the same time, you want to do good on your promises and never cut corners. You want to take action and think things through. The last thing you want to do is lead when it's only you that gains something and everyone else gets nothing. Let's segue that into the next quality, and that's honesty. You want to be trusted and respected by them. If you lie to them or renege on any promise you may have made, you're going to get the exact opposite. Third on the list, we have innovation. A great leader will want to think of ideas that are outside of the box, the kind of ideas that are considered out of the norm. An innovative leader will want to listen to inputs from their team members and allow for discussion because there may be something better that comes along and it might be an idea that's better than the original. The fourth quality on the list is being able to listen. And this sort of ties into the previous quality. You want to listen to what people are saying when you're having those discussions. At the same time, listening comes in handy when you want to discuss vital changes with your employees. You want to make a note of what they said because it can and will impact the decisions you make going forward. The fifth quality, and I believe this is perhaps one of the most vital, is being a strong communicator. It's perfect to follow up listening with this because this is half of the battle when it comes to communicating with your team members. You want to ask thought-provoking questions. At the same time, you want to discuss your thoughts on the matter. It's about getting your message across as effectively as possible. Six is self-confidence. You know, I've yet to meet a leader who is not confident in his or her abilities. If you believe in yourself and believe you can do the right thing, that's self-confidence. Even if people don't agree with the decision, you know that as a leader, you are confident in what's best for your business going forward. Seventh, we have delegation. I think it goes without saying that you can't do everything on the to-do list. You have priorities to focus on, so it's important to delegate certain tasks to those around you. And finally, number eight, we have decision-making skills. A great leader must be able to make decisions no matter how tough they are. Sometimes it takes some thinking over, and other times it's a race against time. It'll get to the point where you need to make a decision fast. It's do or die, sink or swim. There's not enough time to think. This ties into the problem-solving skills that you as a leader must have. I hope this presentation was informative, and if it was, please let us know. Thanks. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.